Hey guys, this is JDX7. So this is just a quick tutorial on how to get the EEPROM for your hard drive or your Xbox EEPROM off the off the Xbox onto your computer. You'll need to set up an FTP for this, so make sure you look at one of my previous tutorials on how to set up an FTP. You'll also need Evolution X, the dashboard, or at least something that'll dump the EEPROM. So first, you want to turn your Xbox on and go to Unleash X. So this is Xbox Media Center at the moment. Um, programs. Oh, I gotta think which one it is now. I've got Remote X. I wonder which one is which. Yep. So this is Evolution X, right? It's a shitty dashboard, I don't like it at all. I don't know how people use it. Anyway, you want to go to System Utilities and down to Backup. And it will say Backing Up. Now you're done. So now you want to go, go to your um, dashboard to use for file transferring. So for me, it is... Where's the launch menu there? Unleash X, which is much better. and you want to go to the computer so we'll go over to the computer now okay so now that we're at the computer what you want to do is you want to open up flash fxp and you want to connect to your xbox now the um, the EEPROM will be located in your apps directory, so you, uh, depending on what, where your app is, if it, whether it's an E drive or F drive, for me it's an F drive, apps, and it'll be under Evolution X. And then in Backup, and there's your EEPROM dot bin right there, dot bin right there. Now you want to copy that over to your computer, and I've already done this before, so I'll override it. And there it's done. Now what you can do is you can copy that um, file, that yeah that file, eprom.bim to a floppy drive or a flash drive if you know how to look, um, if you know how to mount flash drives in Linux using Xbox HDM or burn it to the a Xbox HDM CD under the eproms folder and basically what that allows you to do is to lock and unlock Xbox hard drives and gives you your um, hard drive key. So thanks for watching and that is how you do that. See you later.